Hello, Netherland is here, and it's time to start my next project. That's right, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64 and GameCube. And soon the um, Nintendo 3DS. Um, controversial, one of the greatest games of the season. And my, in my personal opinion, it is. But before I get into the actual gameplay, there's just a couple things I wanted to say. I've been playing this game since I was six years old. Because I was six when this game came out. And, I don't know, Zelda series has just always been a favorite. So yeah, that's and yeah, well, this game is actually very nostalgic to me. I know pretty much the entire thing, like the back of my hand. The music is beautiful. The um, like everything is all colorful and pretty looking, and the characters are enjoyable. So yeah, with that, on to the game. Just to make things easier on myself, I've already made a file, then we can jump right into the game. I've obviously haven't done anything, so... Here we go. I went by the name Delane, just then it's easier. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the Guardian Spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Oh no, creepy nightmare. Huh? Who's that person? Who's that person? Oh no! Navi. Navi. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Benevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deteriorating outside outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even mind power is as, is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. Go, Navi, for everlasting peace. Oh wait, wrong game. Time for the most awesome cutscene in the whole game. Crotch shot. How'd you get up there, crazy woman? Oh, stop giggling. That way. And... Vicious head bonk. Link, wake up. 
The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up! Come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Well, yes, I'm the one playing the game. And Link isn't a morning person. I feel his pain. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The great Deku Tree has summoned you. So let's get going right now. And welcome to Link's house. Link's house is in a sense a save point. Every time you load up a game while playing as Link, you start off back here. So, you might want to get... Kokiri Forest. Huh? And who's this person running up to our house? It's Saria! Yahoo! Hi, Link! Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> that almost sounds condescending. <laughs> now you're a true Kokiri, Link. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. Kokiri Forest still has the best music of the whole game. Oh, who's this redhead blocking our path? Hey, you, no fairy. What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Meadow? I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and shield? Ready. What? You're right, I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip the sword and shield. Sheesh. Yeah, that's it, though. She's kind of the neighborhood dick. So, just collect money for she. There's that guy picking leaves. Not now, Navi. I'm treasure hunting. And I failed epically. Aw. Oh well, there's still a whole lot of other money to collect around here. Like, seriously, money falls from the sky. See? what I tell you? And in every bush, there is two green rupees hidden. And they always respawn, so... Where's that second one? There we go. And behind Mido's house, we get another blue rupee. Huh, what's this mysterious hole over here for? Blue rupee get. Huh, what's that sound? Oh god, giant boulder! Run, 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 run! Duck! Hey, another blue rupee. Huh? What's in this chest? Dun -na -na -na. Sorry, I can not resist. You get the Kokiri sword. This is the hidden treasure of the Kokiri. Not very hidden if I just found it within like the first two minutes of playing. And time to equip it. It doesn't look like much, but this is actually a um, really decent sword for this early in the game. And it'll pretty much be your main sword until you get a better one. When do you get a better one? 
I guess you'll just have to find out.